Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the viewerverse, I've got another No Man's Sky video. Heck yes, I do. So I picked up this little number last episode inside of the NMSA 905 hub found by Rice's Starship Emporium. And you also found this multi-tool. Holy fudge, he's finding a lot in the NMSA hub, is good old Ricey. And yes, guess what today's video is going to be, people? I'm going to be replacing out one of my other ships for the Logo ship, because guess what? St uh, Ricey Starship Emporium won the competition. So yeah, this is turning into the Ricey show, isn't it? Yes, I must apologise, chums, but he has done a lot inside the NMSA hub. Huh? Heck, yes, he has. So I've got a conundrum now, though, chums. Which ship do I ditch for my new logo ship? So I've got this one, which is my interceptor that I used to hunt Scottish Rod in. So that's not going anywhere, is it? I've got my barrel nose droid winged fighter there which definitely isn't going anywhere and i've got this which matches the actual collector's edition ship that we got at launch so no that's not going anywhere so that brings me to these two ships i've got a golden vector that i do like and that's a prize from expedition one and we've also got the living ship the living ship for all i care could go live somewhere else but because it's from the void egg and maybe a key to getting into the void in a future update we can only but hope I'm going to keep it. So that means my golden vector's going, people. Yes, and I've put a lot of work into the freaking golden vector. It's looking beautiful, isn't it? But yeah, hello, games. You gave us freaking pet slots. You gave us multi-tool slots. But you didn't give us any new slots to keep ships in. No. So my hand has been forced. Right, so I need to go and delete all the tech out of here. And then I need to do some inventory management inside of my freighter. You know what, EXO. Hit on up some funky music while I do all that shenanigans. Oh, Captain! Captain! Right, so, so we are back after that little musical interlude. Hope you enjoyed that. Real treat for your ear holes, huh? Right, okay, we're putting in a double eagle Fantasta Mondo, followed by a Dippolado and a Beetal. Then we want a Sun to set. And a triple eclipse. Heck yes. And a whale. Yes, brilliant. And another BTL. Followed by a whale. And the last digit, another whale. A double whale ending. Heck yes, brilliant. Right, okay, we're going to be jumping into this lovely rotating vortex of blueness. Brilliant. And a running jump and a leap. Important announcement, people. So my logo has changed from the logo over on the left-hand side of the screen to the new logo over on the right-hand side of the screen, thanks to this lovely ship find by Ricey Starship Emporium. Thank you, chappy. Awesome. So I hope you like the new logo. I've also updated it on the wiki on the 905. Important announcement. Over. Thank you. Well, welcome back. Yes, I have gone through the teleporter. Little message there from Real World Steve. And yes, we've got a new logo over on our actual hub. Doesn't it look fantastic? Doesn't it look awesome? Isn't it wondrous? Brilliant! It's majestic! Right, let's take to the sky and let's fly on up and see if we can get this new ship to match our new logo. Excellent! Right, well, it was actually in reverse. You know, Ricey won the competition. Yeah, sort of denoted what I'm going to change my logo to. Thank you, Ricey, for finding a logo ship that looked somewhat like my logo, but not enough to cause me a day's work. <laughs> All right, oh, there we go, there it is. There's the ship in question. And yes, it is fairly close to my logo. Well, it's pretty much identical now because I changed my logo. <laughs> Excellent, hello there, Fikeen. I would like to make an offer on your ship. I'm loving that yellow lipstick and your golden horn sort of medley you've got going on there. It really matches, really makes your eyes pop, I must say. Beautiful. Right, here we go. Oh, yes, I'm having 
than that. Thank you very much. Negotiate price. Hopefully it's going to be a straight swap for a freaking golden vector. Right, well, I'm going to be transferring this all over. You can see there, that's an S class to a B. What a lovely swap that is. You're lucky, little Viking. Yes, you've now got a golden vector to match your golden horns and your golden lipstick. Enjoy, my friend. There we are. Yeah, I think that was a good swap. Colour coordination wise, we're both very colour coordinated now. Awesome. Brilliant. Well, let's head on over and let's upgrade this one to an S class. This is going to use quite a lot of my nanites and I'm going to be going in and out of the upgrading machines. This is going to take me a little while to do all the upgrades. You know what? Hexo, if you wouldn't mind, can you play some more funky music, please? <laughs> Right, okay, through the power of editing, people, I've actually put in all the modules, and you can see here my actual stats of my ship, which is freaking nice. So putting the Null and also the Apollo figures next to each other gives a slight shield and weapon boost. So there we go. So I think I've got this all kitted out to take on the Sentinel sort of scourge if I shoot the actual station. And again, guess what? Ricey has beat my top score. He's now destroyed 124 ships before they managed to destroy him. So my 71's looking pretty poor right now, isn't it? So hopefully I can beat my 71 total, but I would like to try and beat Ricey's 124 ship killing total. So that's going to be a future episode, people. Right, so let's go and just check out the stats of my barrel nose droid, which got me the 71 kills last time in comparison. -y. So here we go, let's have a look deadly master let's have a look at your stats right okay i think shield strength is slightly better in my new ship but the damage potential is lower hmm and the maneuverability right well that's a surprise i thought the maneuverability of my new one was freaking ace all right well i don't really know what i've done too differently because they've got exactly the same modules oh well some of them must be just better balanced inside of my old droid barrel nose unless they've tweaked or nerfed something and any new modules don't know anyhow i'm going to be flying out and we're going to be trying it the actual kill the sentinels by shooting the actual ship it's actually called the uh, 50 ship challenge so if you can do more than 50 ships that's a very good benchmark of a ship's capability. So 50 ships before they kill you is quite good. Well, I thought it was until people started smashing my freaking, you know, achievements. Anyhow, this is now an S-Class ship, as you can see here. All the technology is in, so we've got a future episode coming soon. Now, if you're wondering well, what technology modules are in this area, Steve, how did you do all of that? Well, I just jumped back to previous stations, because this guy here, him, he has got hardly any decent modules whatsoever. So here we go, let's go down. He's only got the Silotron. No, thank you very much. Cheers and thanks and cheery bye. So yeah, I had to jump through a load of stations, but like I said, power of editing and all that. Lovely jubbly. So awesome. See you next episode, people. Cheery bye, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thank you, new backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add froze revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.